Now that the holiday season is in full force, you're probably attending more and more family gatherings and holiday parties. Doctors are warning people tonight about how you could be spreading a dangerous virus. Fox 47's Alexis Ware has the details. I really want to caution people that this is the time of year that really it's imperative that we keep very good hand washing and kind of keep your hands to yourself. RSV, like many viruses, come around more in the winter and early spring months. Most cases involve young children either in daycare or grade school age groups, but it's not impossible for adults to catch the virus as well. Adults can get it too. It's more concerning for small children and elders because their airways are much smaller and their immune systems tend to be compromised due to age or incomplete immunizations. The virus is spread the same way between children and adults. If people were to cough or sneeze on you, uh, direct secretions from the nasal passages, for example. Even things like kissing, hugging, and touching doorknobs can spread the virus, and it can be tough to treat. It can get fairly severe. It is a self-limiting disease, which means no particular antibiotic or antiviral or medication. Take it away. RSV usually goes away on its own, but infants under the age of six months may be hospitalized if the oxygen levels are too low. The virus typically lasts six to eight days, and one could start to show symptoms as soon as four to six days after encountering the virus. Officials say your best bet is to see a doctor before taking any medication. We recommend uh, definitely when you start to show signs or symptoms of increased nasal secretions, fever, cough, uh, not eating well, do you seek uh, attention from a medical provider to find out if RSV is what we're dealing with. Alexis Ware, Fox 47 News. RSV can typically be treated on its own without medication once diagnosed by a doctor. Professionals say to always ask a doctor's opinion to avoid taking unnecessary medication or prolonging the recovery process.